So this is one of those DIY diff covers from eBay. Actually a uh, super high quality overall. Nice bends, nice cuts. You know, not a lot of burrs, but there are some, you know, could be some fitment issues in different applications. They just come tacked together. And if you just, you know, gung-ho weld it the way it is, you might have to come in here and grind a little bit. So I was trying some different settings on my welder, trying a couple different types of wire in here to try and figure out what works best. But, you know, all in all, it looks pretty good. <coughs> the uh, issue is that when you weld on this big plate, it warps it. And, you know, a lot of people just throw them on and run them and they leak and then they burn out their pinion bearings. So this one, you kind of see, I don't know if we can see, can we see? Yeah, we can see. I had uh, a well, buddy, buddy of mine, has a machine shop, Brighter Metalworks, hit him up. Well, put it on his mill and cut this thing flat for me. It was about 40 to 50 thousandths, you know, just from this corner here. So, if you're going to get one of these, they're awesome. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't have one made for that price. You know, almost the metal these days costs as much as it did to have this thing put in a box and shipped. And, you know, the cuts look nice. You know, it's nice, nice and good. <clears throat> but uh, I would highly recommend that you have it machined. You know, if you're not fortunate enough to have somebody that has a machine shop to do this stuff for you, then you're just going to have to bite the bullet and do it. I mean, you know, see, even cutting 40 or 50 thousandths off of this, see how much warped it is. But, you know, there's going to be some experts out there who say, Why didn't you bolt it on and then build it? Well, it's not exactly how it works. I mean, you could do that, but it's still going to warp. No matter what you do, it's going to warp. So you might as well just do it right, have it cut. I got to grind these down. What he did was um, cut off the little Z that was on here and uh, ground this down and use some uh, machinist jacks and use these two bolt holes here to actually bolt this thing down to the mill table so it could have a nice sturdy hold on it and then and then cut it so yeah this is pretty sweet pretty pretty pretty